Good afternoon, everybody. It's April... F I don't know if it's the 4th or the 5th now, but anyways. We are working on... We are always working on drills. We all know that we're always working on drills. And... Uh, we put all brand new bearings in this bad boy last winter. Not this winter, last winter. We put a brand new uh, roller. It's a rubber roller, rubber drive roller on that hydraulic motor. Put a new one of those bad boys on. And uh, this sucker gets washed out like you wouldn't believe. But we did transport it down here in some saltier conditions and maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe not, maybe it's just stuck. But anyways, my belt is stuck. And when you turn on the remote, it just creates a big pile of blue smoke up there because that rubber drive is operational and it's just spinning on the belt. So the problem is, is this belt, we pulled it off, it's stuck to the bottom of this steel. And you can tell there's definitely some fur. You gotta remember, this cart is not a brand new cart. The cart's a 2019 and it's seen a lot of fertilizer. Even though you wash it, there's going to be corrosion. And while well, Mike, why don't you stick a whole pile of oil up there, lube that bad boy. Just imagine what your drive roller would do with lubed oil. It would cease to move. So that's not an option. That's actually the last thing that you want to do. I kind of want that thing to cease to move, but it goes. Which ceases to move? It comes my way. Oh, we're just pulling it down? Yeah. Or fly script. So the problem is, is we've got the belt unstuck to probably here from just yanking on it, right? And yes, you, this is the back side of the belt. And yes, you can get this sucker unstuck here, maybe over here. That's no problem, but it's the belt in this tube. So it's stuck between here and up there. So. What, do you, what have we done to try and get this unstuck? We've used pipe wrenches, I don't know what the heck this looks, this looks, are you giving the old twisty twisty here or what? No, I need. I need the winchy. Okay. I'm trying to back it up here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> One handed here. This thing breaks and pops off. Oh, oh, I broke it. Okay. How bad would it be if we try and reverse the conveyor now? Don't do it up here. You should grab it. I already did it. Oh, yeah. But it didn't do nothing. Maybe. We're going to have to ponder this a little bit here. Maybe to put it on the underside, pulling down, so that way we can use the conveyor to help. Maybe, we could try that. No, we got nothing to lose. So, other than maybe fingers and arms and such like that, but anyways, we've already tried putting the pipe wrench on our uh, shaft here. Believe me, we didn't do it any good. Because, ouch. Ow. Now. <laughs> anyways. Uh, it just spins that roller in the belt and then we go up there on that rubber drive the rubber drive belt and we can just spin it in there with a pipe wrench and you're like well Mike maybe you need to tension that belt right up actually we loosen the belt trying to make it loo loosey goosey floppy floppy still nothing so we're gonna get this you guys I don't know how many little shavings we're gonna get stuck in our fingers here but we're gonna get this and uh, we're gonna break this belt free. And then we're gonna be off to the races. We're gonna have 50 hours on the tractors before we even hit the field, but we're gonna get it. Gonna get a pipe wrench to the chops here? Possibly. Oh, that way. Wait, you see, um. <laughs> Oh man. This is ranch. <laughs> this is, yeah. This is definitely pretty ranch, 100%. Tell me and I'll tighten it up a little bit. Try pulling. Is it moving? Oh, oh. it really wants to. 
I'm gonna have to almost use two hands. Am I gonna get a pipe wrench to no, the back don't of the head? Move. Don't move. As in me, don't move? Don't move anything. You realize that if you don't have that conveyor stopped before those pipe wrenches Try. get to there. Wrench. I'm just gonna tighten it up. Yeah, and then don't turn on the conveyor. I'll get a pipe wrench to the back of the head. Still nothing. nothing. Not even a what? Come on! Killing us here! <sighs> killing the belt too. This is not good. Well, the belt to be fine. What won't be fine is that roller. Well, we can tighten up the belt a little bit more again. Try that. I don't know. I'm... Is it even moving at all when we're doing this? No. Listen here, Linda. Oh, it's wait. Try to wait. do it again. Your Watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Woo! That's awesome. Yeah. Do not turn it back on, or we're gonna die. They're not gonna know. They're gonna know. <laughs> they would know. <laughs> so anyway, off camera. Donovan just went to ratcheting like crazy and all of a sudden we heard a pop and break loose. And then we're like, oh, we think it a go, we think it a go. And it did. I think it's because I I told it what for. I think that's the I think that's the reason why I went. I don't, I don't think I had anything to do with that. I just said, listen here, Linda, you're gonna go or you're gonna go down the road. And that threat worked. Okay guys, that's probably how you should not unstuck a conveyor, but it did the job. We're gonna wait and then we're gonna fire this bad boy up. Except we're not gonna do it on the tank. Where is it? I'll move the conveyor. Where's the remote? You pocket picker. <laughs> <laughs> and I need one of these because I lost it on transport from the north farm to the south farm. There you go. All right. Not yet. Not yet. Don't worry, I got a new spout coming. A new uh, catch-free spout. How's our belt look? Like a million bucks or what? It's not that bad, I don't notice it. It's a little shaped. It'll, it'll be fine. W, but... It'll be fine. It'll be yeah. Bad. Okay, watch yourself here. We'll fire this puppy up. supposed to go. We may have done a little damage to our shafts. Nothing that a grinder won't fix. <laughs> it's gonna go. That's impressive. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Smells burnt. Yeah, I, uh, it's been a little while since we ran it, I guess. It'd be ever since we washed it. Might not earn a Yeah. Little update on the GPS. What? Nothing. A little update on the GPS. We still don't have that. We're still working on it. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get our dealer back down here to give us a hand. We got those little. I can't remember if in the last video I was talking about these little. Uh, 
uh, knoll modems or whatever they're called. And uh, we stuck those on and nothing seemed to work. So we're gonna, we're gonna work and don't worry. But probably won't be by my expertise. We should spin the... Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna spin all these. Make sure everything turns. Here, you spin it, now watch. You spin it. I think we have success. All right, we're also changing some hydraulic hoses. As we got quite a few leakers, we got some hydraulic oil on the ground. Uh, Will is working on putting us some new hoses on. There's some bad ones here. They rub on the frame, eh? As you can tell, I put some electric tape on where they rub, just to try and keep you know the hose lasting a little longer. I should put it in. Oh, sorry. I should put it through this. That's what I should do. That would make far too much sense. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. Catch you on the flipper.